Now question 154, osteoporosis which is an age related disease of a skeletal system where there is loss of calcium from the bones and that is why the bones become fragile and get easily fractured. Now this condition arises in post menopausal women because of the lack of estrogen. So we do have one option here decreased level of estrogen while in the first choice immune disorder affecting neuromuscular junction leading to fatigue that is myasthenia gravis accumulation of uric acid leading to inflammation of joints that is gouty arthritis and so the correct answer is option number three and our next question 155 the serum differs from blood now the serum is a pale yellow liquid obtained after the blood has undergone clotting and in this serum it is very similar to plasma but some of the clotting factors which are used up in forming the clot like fibrinogen there is factor 5 factor 8 so those will be absent from it and that choice we have here that is option number 3 lacking clotting factors so that is our correct answer. So let us move on to question number 156. Now lungs do not collapse between breaths and some air always remains in the lungs which can never be expelled because now this is related to the intrapleural pressure. So first of all let us understand what is intrapleural pressure. Now we know that our lungs are surrounded by two pleural membranes, the outer one parietal and the inner one visceral and in between there is a fluid filled in and this space here this is called the pleural cavity. Now in this pleural cavity the fluid which is filled in that is the pleural fluid and the pressure here is always negative. So there is a negative pressure here and this is the negative intrapleural pressure. And when we say negative, so that means it is negative or you can say lesser in comparison to the atmospheric pressure. And it is because of this negative pressure only the alveoli here or the lungs can expand and move outward while when we expirate the thoracic volume decreases and this intrapleural pressure it becomes less negative but certainly it remains always negative because if this pressure becomes positive it will be rather making the lungs to collapse. So with this thing let us see the choices here. Now there is negative pressure in the lungs. So once we have expelled the air the lungs have recoiled so certainly the pressure here is not negative that negative pressure is generated only when we are going to inspire and our diaphragm and the intercostal muscles have contracted. The second one there is negative intrapleural pressure pulling at the lung walls so this is the correct one here. The remaining there is positive intrapleural pressure which can never be there and pressure in the lungs is higher than the atmospheric pressure that would be expelling the air but here once the air has already been expelled so this cannot be true. So our answer is option number 2. So let us move on to the next question 157. 